Stefan Fonjo, man. I've uh, I've seen him fight many, many times. He comes into the uh, walkway now, going into the ring. This young man brings a lot of confidence. He trains five hours every day. And he's got great coaches. So it's really going to be exciting to find out what it brings to the table on his fight tonight. Stefan Fonjo. Representing Cameroon, a resident of the country, UAE. He stands six foot two, weighs 167 kilos, 67 pounds rather. Losses, and what that tells you is he's been in a lot of good fighters. He's been in the right. former world champions before. So a lot of those losses are from a good fighters. And so he's tough, experienced. You'll know what to seal his face. You'll know what to tie you up. So this is a real test here for Fonjo. Yeah, Fonjo, of course, one of the uh, more famous local heroes out here. I mean, he's been in the boxing circuit here in the country for uh, quite some time. He's got a lot of really notable wins. He is a fan favorite, of course, knowing that he's got a lot of fans here locally in Dubai, too. But meantime, you can never count his opponent out because this man is a veteran of 37 bouts. Look there when he got a bit close. Of course, this is round number two right now. Two minutes in. But don't make they take any silly risks against someone like Talaraku. Right. 18 of those 18 of those 27 wins is actually by knockout. Dubai. That was a lovely bit of work there for Fonju. Just just a second ago, he just slipped the jab there to Talaraku and whipped that right hand over the top. Just made Talaraku back and just keeps him in his place, stops him from mounting any sort of attack. Gives you space to move. Right. All right, here we go. Round three is on the way. What a great night. Amazing. That's good there from Fonjo. Jabbing to the body, then throwing the right hand over the top, just trying to change the angle of the shot, show some variety in his work. It's nice, just slapping it with that left hook to the body. Green trunks, Kellerak, right trunks, right socks too. So far, back and forth action. Kellerak from Poland. It's a lovely right hand there from Fonjo. And just keeping the pressure, just trying to lean on top. Oh! Wow! Out of nowhere there. Didn't you know, see nice that coming. Nice tight guard there from Talarak. Just as Fonjo meant to move, move away on the outside, just got caught square footed with a lovely short right hand there from the Polish fighter. Wow! Woo! What a round! What a round! What an action so far! Here at the show, that's the most we've seen. All right, fire replay coming up now. Check what happened on the screens. Here we go. Well, that was fun driving everything all his own way again, just leaning on on Talarak there, landing with, with Will. Just so he went to skip round to the right, they got caught square footed there. Talarak just a nice tight guard and just fun joke. But the pressure's on. Talarak's gonna come. He's gonna put pressure on him early. fonjo has gonna fight back and show him something here. Oh, that's good work there, good movement on the body. Oh, I think he might have just wobbled there, Tyler with that left hook. Oh, lovely, lovely combination there from Fonjo. Not making a dent here though in Tyler he has to be aware of that, behind that long jab. Oh, winging in that right, oh, it's a good shot and he's down. Tyler down from two looping right hands there from, from Fonjo. And he's up too soon, unsteady on his legs. Well, after a horrible fourth round, he had a good fifth round, Fonjo, but then in this sixth round, all of a sudden, catches Teller with a lovely shot, drops him with a right hand on the temple. The other shots that, even though you don't feel hurt, he just discombobulates you a little bit, you can't feel your feet. He's gonna jump on him here now, Fonjo. Don't give him a chance to recover. You don't have to steal the space, let's take long but heavy shots, rein them in. Good left hook there from Fonjo. Oh, that's a good shot, good work. Oh, he felt that, Tyrak just almost turned away from that right hand. Oh, lovely body shot there from Fonjo. Look at him unloading now. Swinging those shots in. 
Tanner trying to respond there, but he's an open target here coming forward. Bit more space, be able to turn the body and throw right through the guard. That's nice word there from Fondra again. Watching really well here. The little uppercuts on the move, breaking through the defense at times. Oh, it's good footwork there from Fondu. A little pivot there, just get back in the centre of the ring. That was nice there from Fondu, just fate into the body there. And then to a one-two combination up top. There's that right hand through the guard. He felt that there, Salarak. Seen at times. Good work. We've got to be careful. He's winging in shots too close there, Fonjo. But this is where he's more effective here from range, keeping it long. Great action out here. It's been fantastic. It really has been a really good fight, the actually. Better than what I thought it was going to be. More competitive, but Fonjo's you know, shown some metal in his work as well. Shows some good substance, mentally, physically. And here he goes here and loading in a, in a round where he just needs to stay safe, but he's not satisfied there. He wants that show real finish. But he wasn't. He still had enough commitment and belief in himself to go for it. Barrett, let me ask you this. Were you ever scared competing against guys who were like really older than you? Yeah, because of the man. I turned pro at 18, so like you have a man's rounds of action. We go to the judges' scorecard. Judge Daniel Vanderven scored the contest 76 to 73. While judges Mike Hale and Gary Kitanowski scored the contest 77 to 72. All for your winner by unanimous decision. La Cuisance from Cameroon representing the UAE, Stefan Fonjol.